YouTube, what is up with y'all today? It's Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. Really, I don't too much uh, do actual reviews all like that um, as far as it coming to Jay's. Um, well, at least like the hype ones, I guess. But I, would, I, I guess I would consider this one a hype one. I think eventually it's going to sell out. But I end up copping it anyway, mostly for nostalgic reasons and because I like it as well. I actually like the color and design because y'all know I do like red and black. Um, so, yeah. This shoe actually takes me back and it is my first 13th of this year. You know, it's not a big deal. I just want to let you guys know I got this or whatever. Not to brag or whatever. You know, I'm not about to do it on foot and all that stuff, y'all. You know, it's more than enough on foot. So on YouTube, some people literally base their whole, fuck, they whole, all they sneaker content off Jordans. But, you know, and that's for them or whatever. But, you know, I do, I got more kicks coming in. But I just want to let you guys know I got this joint. And it is the Cherry 13s. And it's not the Black Cat. So, yep. Uh, white, black, and team red. Simple. I always, always wanted these. I wanted all the colors, obviously. They all look dope. But I definitely remember these joints back when I was in like fourth or fifth grade, 1998, 97. Man, crazy, crazy. I remember when I see these, I think about the East Bay Magazine. I remember that summer, like it was yesterday. And uh, these shoes was actually available in East Bay at the time. And uh, at that time, I was more, I, obviously I wasn't, a, I didn't have a man foot, but I was looking for like a big, big kid size or whatever. And uh, it was just fun to just go through the magazine to circle them. So now that I'm an adult, I can actually cop them now. I don't got to wait and all that stuff. And and then it's just so much easier now. Just imagine sending that East Bay slip in after you fill out the, uh, put the item number on a row and mail it in and you know and then that takes time for them to get it process the order and all that stuff but and I and I still do get East Bay magazines now every once in a while but and, and they still got that 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 little slip on the inside so I guess that really must must have been working for them and still working for them because that's what they known for and back then man it was like you just want to buy the whole fucking the whole East Bay man let me stop cussing but you just want to buy the whole East Bay so let me get into the my opinion of this uh, Y'all already see the re seen reviews, countless reviews, and this is one of them shoes I was talking about as far as like early videos dropping. Like now, now that I actually waited to release day to get the shoe and all that stuff, you know, probably many two people ain't too much people not checking on this kind of review unless number one you really really like Jordans and number two if you um, just really like this color and model and stuff. Um, and three, lastly, if you're one of those rare few that just nostalgically like the kick like me you still looking at reviews so I looked at a few reviews as well even way after the release date and uh, yeah man crazy the the tumble leather on here is definitely um, clean now I do got the dirty bread 13s but hold on I want to hurry up and get those back so I do got the dirty bread 13s and the leather quality is definitely different both of these are size 10 and uh, yeah like the leather on this is harder than this one like this is, has a little bit more flex to it like you, it's more like along the lines a little bit of like legend blue this one is still came from like 2014 when it was still kind of doing that hard leather before the remastered series and uh yeah <clears throat> so this one actually takes me back man fourth fifth grade east bay magazine trying to you know go on the hoop going to spend all my last bit of money on a slice of pizza man getting on the 10 speed classic nostalgic one of the things that I too much didn't care for about this shoe 
is that they got that lip at the top. Now the OGs does not. They actually have this leather actually pulled back over this. But um, that's my only peeve with it. I do like the fact that they actually kept the sway along the mid so That's definitely nice. Definitely fresh. Definitely clean. Little details like that still makes the shoe because everything has to flow together. And see, you know, like a 13 like this. Now, I know it's not an OG colorway, but on this dirty bread, they just put like that paint right there. I'd rather it be matted. If they're not going to put the suede on it, I'd rather it be matted instead of like the black cats like the black cats has that like that shiny i don't like that like i I'd rather it just be like a matte black like that but anyway back to this one i actually seen jordan playing this on tv of course and man he made moves in this joint like crazy with me as far as this little piece of plastic go i still got the plastic on my dirty bread 13s over the eye bubble um that's one of the things that really never bother me because it's like it's just put on so well so I just forget about it shoe strings the only thing I'm worried about yeah they're white and you know it can easily stain and all that stuff so as far as age the aging process with this shoe I don't know if it might do, do that that red bleeding along the side where like they use like red glue I think that's prominent on the 2010 flint grays that came out because I think the glue they probably used was red because when some people glue bleed out from their flint 13s from 2010 they actually bleed out red so nothing much more to this shoe as far as quality and craftsmanship definitely nice also along on the insole you got that snow white and uh, I wear black socks I just wish they just could have made at least the 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 sole in here I wish they just could have made the sole black instead of white but this is more along the lines of the og so the og actually had like this whole snow white feel on the inside again i wear black socks man i wear black socks constantly and i think black socks look better but the, the cotton balls that might get to me a little bit but other than that still not too much of a deal breaker and uh yeah man oh and as far as my my thoughts on this not selling out these are going to sell out like i said at the beginning of, the, of my video I think it has to do with the tax returns, All-Star Weekend, so many kicks was coming out. A little bit, you know, I, I agree with other YouTubers as far as that goes. So these is not really going to sit too long. Um, I could see them kind of going to the way of the true. They're they, they not going to sit too long like the True Blue 3s because these actually regular price, 190 You know, it's not that 220 I think I just seen a True Blue 3 just come down to 180 So, uh that's basically it, man. I mean, if you can pay to play, go ahead. Also, too, they got a nice little tumble leather on the tongue. I did. I do want to mention that. So, jump man look on point. Yeah, for the most part, it's cool to me, man. So, uh, yeah, this is one of them rare cops or whatever. You all know I don't too much. Again, I don't really too much review Jordans. This is just to let you guys know I got it. I got it just like how it was with the Space Jam 11s. Y'all seen a million effing reviews, but that's my opinion on this. That's my nostalgic point on this, man. Classic fire. A chick, before I would go to school, a chick, a girl on my bus, on my school bus at the time, actually had these. And I was like, man, those look so cold on her feet. Like, this was like 97, 98, y'all. And I was like, man, I need those because I had the black and blue ones as well. The black and blue ones are the low top ones. But when she, she broke out with these, man, shh, crazy, crazy. I wish we were the same size. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I got to go. Peace. Stay tuned, too, man. I got more content, more kicks on the way, more discussions. And I think I got more clothes. But, yeah, stay tuned. Peace.